Finally, in this lecture, let's also learn the concept of default function parameter. Let's go to VS Code. And in here, let's create a function and let's simply call it as print details. And what this function is going to do is it is going to take a name parameter, which is going to be of type string. It is going to take an age parameter, which is going to be of type number. And it is also going to take a gender parameter, which is going to be of type string. Okay. And what this function is going to do is it is going to create a message. So here I'm going to create a variable. Let's call it message. And here I'm going to use backticks and the message will be hi. My name is and then here we want to use the name parameter. Full stop and I am and then now I want to use the age parameter. Years old and then I want to use the gender parameter. Okay. And what we are going to do is we are simply going to log that message in the console. Now let's call this print details function. And when we are calling this function, let's pass the value for name parameter, maybe John. Let's pass the value for age parameter, 28. And let's also pass the value for gender parameter as male. Let's save the changes. Let's compile this application by running this TSC command. And I want to compile this application in watch mode. So I will also use hyphen W and let's run this. And now you will see that it says, hi, my name is John and I am 28 years old male. Okay. So based on the values, which we have provided for the name, age and gender parameter, it has created a message and it has logged it. All right. Now what I want is I want to make this function in such a way that user must pass a value for name parameter user must pass a value for age parameter but if the user wants he can pass a value for gender parameter but it should not be required okay and when the user does not pass a value for gender parameter by default the gender should be male now currently if i don't pass a value for the gender parameter you see we have an error because this print detail function is expecting three parameters but we are passing the value for only two parameters. So we are getting an error. Now what we can do here is we can set a default value for this gender parameter. And for that, we can use equal to sign here and then we can specify a default value, let's say male. And now what will happen is even if we don't pass a value for the gender parameter, we will not have any error. But here by default, this value male will be used. So again, if we save the changes, you see, it says, hi, my name is John and I am 28 years old male. But if we specify a value for the gender parameter, let's say female, in that case, this value will be assigned to this gender parameter and its default value will not be used. If I save the changes again, now it says, my name is John and I am 28 years old female. So this is what default parameter is. Using default parameter, you can set a default value for a parameter and it's not mandatory to pass a value for that parameter while calling the function. And when you don't pass a value for that parameter, that default parameter, it will use its default value, which we have set. Another very important point which you need to remember about the default parameter is that default parameter should always be the last parameter in the parameter list. You cannot make a default parameter by keeping it as the first parameter in the parameter list. So for example, if I specify it here, this will not work. Now why this will not work? That's because if I remove this value for the gender parameter from here, you will notice that we have an error. Now why do we have this error? That's because TypeScript is going to assign the arguments which we are passing while calling the function in the order in which they have defined. So this John will be assigned to this gender parameter. This 28 will be assigned to this name parameter. And since we have not passed any value for the third parameter, there is nothing to be assigned to this age parameter. And that's why we have this error. But if we keep this gender parameter as the third parameter, as the last parameter, like this, in that case, we will not have any error. Why? 
because in that case john will be assigned to name 28 will be assigned to age and since we have not passed any value for the gender parameter it will use its default value okay so we have already set a default value for this gender parameter so that will be used so this is very important that your default parameter should always be the last in the list and it's not like you can use only one default parameter you can use multiple default parameters but they should all come at the end after your regular parameters for example after this gender if i specify another parameter let's say city of type string and by default if i set it to london we don't have any error so these two default parameters are at the end of the parameter list and that's what i mean when i say that your default parameter should come at the end after you have specified all the regular parameters all right so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture now in this section we talked about some advanced concepts which was introduced in es6 and the later versions of javascript now there are a lot of other features which we have in javascript a lot of other advanced features but i am not going to talk about all of them in this course because the prerequisite of taking this typescript course is that you have the basic understanding of javascript and if you know javascript then you might already be knowing most of those concepts but if you still want to learn those concepts then you can watch my javascript course on this channel there i have covered each and every topic related to javascript so you can learn them from there and those same concepts will also apply in typescript because at the end typescript is nothing but a superset of javascript so all the features which we have in javascript the same features we have also in typescript so if you know it from javascript then that knowledge should be enough for this typescript course in this course i'm only going to talk typescript specific concepts i will surely talk about some of the javascript concepts which is important to understand in order to learn typescript so in the coming lectures if i feel that there is a need of explaining some feature from the javascript i will surely explain it but i am not going to explain each and every topic from javascript in this typescript course that is out of the scope of this course all right so from the next section let's go ahead and let's start learning about the object oriented features of typescript this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day